I'm in my hotel room here in Chelmsford in Essex. Uh, I'm very excited about today's photo shoot. Uh, but I thought I'd just give a bit of background about the Morris Minor video that's just been out on the main channel. Hopefully you've seen it. If not, go and have a look right now. Or what I'm about to say will make no sense whatsoever. Hugely, hugely lucky uh, with that car because we turned up. We had no spares for the car other than what was in it. And we didn't know what was in it. We didn't know if it... It would the engine would even turn we didn't know what state the ignition was in we'd been told the fuel supply was disconnected so we suspected that was going to be an issue but we also knew there was a, they were a scrap yard so they were probably going to have a bit of undeaded kicking about so we weren't too alarmed we could make something work but uh, yeah we, we genuinely turned up at, as you saw in that and just uh, basically had a play and uh, amazingly we borrowed a jump pack from uh, the scrap yard again very handy things for them to have and uh, we plugged it in, got electrics. Not sure what's going on with the electrics because nothing worked apart from the ignition. The ignition came on, no wipers, no lights, nothing. Don't know what's going on there. There aren't many fuses in a miner. Don't know if wires have got cut or what's going on. No idea. But thankfully, we did have enough to get the ignition on. Uh, then the starter motor wouldn't work. Uh, it was just clicking the, the solenoid. And uh, that's me turning the key. And uh, just click no turning so that's why we were turning the engine maybe a different position would get it to work but we couldn't but uh, by bridging the contacts on the solenoid in the engine bay a i made some pretty sparks and b uh, i proved that the starter motor itself was actually working the, the solenoid was just a bit um, iffy uh, apparently there is a button on the solenoid but i'm not convinced that would have worked either maybe it would i don't know the button would sort of make that connection as well i think but uh, having watched a few too many road kills I was well aware that you can bridge the contacts with a metal thing. Make sure it's got an insulated handle, for goodness sake. Otherwise, you're going to uh, do yourself a damage. And, uh, yeah, it, that, that was enough to crank it into life. But even then, just filled the fuel bowl up with a little bit of petrol. And, you know, that, that's not, not the right level, really. It's all over the place. It's not really ideal for running, but it would prove the point. And, and so it, it proved. We just started the engine with petrol in it, and it ran absolutely beautifully so uh, we were very lucky that could have been an absolute pain but uh, thankfully it, it wasn't it was a joyous little video so good good fun thank you very much to um, Tanagroy's car dismantlers I know some people are kicking off about the price but you've got to start somewhere they're not classic car experts they're a scrapyard so they, they put a figure on it and if you actually want it um, then I'm sure there's a deal to be done. And if you don't want it, there's not much point arguing about the price that you're not going to pay. Uh, so uh, I suspect the deal will be done and everyone will be happy. Uh, at least I hope so anyway. Um, a few people have asked me to save it. That's not going to happen. I can't weld. And uh, it needs a lot of welding. And welding quickly gets expensive if you're paying someone else to do it. And uh, I mean, that people say, oh, you should learn to weld. But... People are only good at certain things. I'm, I'm quite good at making words happen. That's something I tend to find quite easy, whether it's written or spoken. That is, I guess, a skill. Um, it's something I can do. Um, joining bits of metal together, no. That requires patience and stuff. That's why it's nice to have friends like Lewis uh, over at Wyland Restorations or Tim at Cambrian Classics. But I still can't afford to pay them to do the amount of work that car needs. Which, you know, if you pay someone else to do it, there's a few grand there before you're even thinking about painting it. Well, you can just paint it with emulsion, so that could be quite cheap. Maybe don't do that. But yeah, a good project for someone, I hope. And uh, hopefully, it, yeah, it will live on. Right, I need to get um, myself packed up. I'm starting to pack and get filming. So see you in a future video very soon.